This video is on relations and functions. First we'll start with relations. A relation is just a way of pairing up two sets. So here we have a set and another set and we can uh, indicate how we pair them up with these arrows. So the negative 3 from the first set is paired with the 2 from the second set. And maybe we also pair the negative 1 with the 2, the 2 with the 3, the 4 with the 3, and the 4 with the 4. So there are five pairings between these two sets. Uh, we can express this relation in different ways. We can make a table. Traditionally, the x is the value from the first set, the y is the value from the second set, and we make a table listing out the pairings. We can express the pairings from the table as a set of points. So here is our set of points. Uh, notice that all of these ways of depicting this uh, relation, well, it's the same relation that they're depicting just different ways of expressing the same thing. We can also express this as a graph since my relation is just, well, five pairings. I can express it as a graph of five points. The, um, well, they're the same points listed there. The first set is called the domain and the second set is called the range. So we can see that in each way of depicting this. We have the domain here, the domain is here, the domain is the set of first coordinates. It's the x values here. The second set is the range. And again, we can see that in each way of expressing it. Um, and relations don't have a whole lot of restrictions on them. This relation is made up of just of five points. You can have relations that are made up of infinitely many points. Um, the most useful, well, maybe not most useful, but certainly a very useful type of relation is called a function. A function is just a special kind of relation. It's a relation where every element of the domain is paired with exactly one element of the range. So let's look at our example from last, uh, from the previous slide. Here we can see that the 4 in the domain is paired with more than one element of the range. It's paired with the 3 and also the 4. That means that this is not a function. But we can change it slightly. If we remove this pairing, here we have a different relation. We removed a pairing, so it's not the same exact relation. But what we have now is a function. Every element of the domain is paired to exactly one element of the range. Notice that the two in the range is getting more than one element of the domain paired with it, but that's okay. That's still a function. It's only not a function if, say here, we had the four with two arrows coming from it. It's not a problem to have an element in the range that has multiple arrows going to it. We can also look at uh, graphs and determine which relation is uh, a function. Remember the domain is all of the x values and the range is all of the y values. So if I'm looking, say at the second one, for a place where an x value, an element of the domain, is paired with more than one element of the range, that would cause it to be not be a function. And I have that right here. I have an x value that is paired with this y value of positive 1 and this y value of negative 1. 
I have that over and over again here. Sometimes it's harder to see the coordinates. I can read the coordinates easily over here. My x value of 4 is paired with a y value of positive 2 and also a y value of negative 2. That means that it fails to be a function. This is a relation, but it is not a function. If I go over to this first graph, every single place I have an x value that is paired with exactly one y value. Every element of the domain is paired with exactly one element of the range. So, as we said, this one is not a function, and this one is a function. We can use something called the vertical line test here. We sort of informally did that. If you have a place where an x value pairs up with more than one y value, then it is possible to draw a vertical line that touches your graph more than once. Any time that you can draw a vertical line that touches your graph more than once, what you have the graph of is not a function. It is still a relation, but it is not this special kind of relation called a function. So now you can work practice exercises 1 through 19 on the PDF Practice with Relations and Functions handout. Then watch the Evaluating Functions video and that will give you enough to work practice exercises 20 through 29.